Welcome back to the Great Lakes Silver Stacking YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be going over my 2022 plan for my stack. Uh, like I said in a previous video, I do have a pretty big life event coming up. I am uh, building a house, so money will be tight for the foreseeable future. Uh, so that just means I will have to kind of curtail the way I purchase precious metals. Uh, unfortunately, I think for the meantime, unless I come into uh, crazy profits with crypto, I think uh, gold, unfortunately, is going to be off the table, which stinks, but it's just way too expensive right now. And I do see gold uh, rising in the mid to long term. Uh, right now, with everything going on, there's nothing really... Uh, fundamental going on in the markets. Uh, the Fed announces a taper and gold goes down, silver goes down. Uh, they're still buying a bunch of crappy uh, mortgage-backed securities, I believe. I think they were doing $150 billion a month in purchases. The treasury bond yields are just trash. I, I, I do not understand why gold is not higher than it is. However, for everyone stacking right now, I guess that's good news because you just get to buy it on sale. But for me, unfortunately, I will not be able to purchase the, uh, the gold. Moving over to the more numismatic side of things, uh, specifically the US Mint stuff. This is a 2021 peace dollar. The only uh, numismatic that I actually kept from this series. Uh, if you remember 2021, there was the Morgan dollar and the peace dollar. I think the Morgan dollar had five different kinds with uh, proof marks. And then the Philadelphia one was the no proof mark. I bought a bunch of those, flipped them and rolled them into bullion. Uh, I have signed up for the enrollments for the 2022 uh, West Point proof and the San Francisco proof. I did not sign up for the uncirculated coin enrollment. Uh, I'm not sure on the mintages for 2022, but currently there is a household limit of 25, I believe. And if you remember in 21, they moved the limit to three. So if you want to get a lot of them, go enroll in their program right now. Again, this is not financial advice, this is just my opinion, but I will be taking a vast majority of the profits from flipping those proof coins and I'll be rolling them into bullion, or I should, I said that wrong. I'm going to save a lot of the profit from the proof coins because I, you know, got a house now, or getting a house, and I'll probably roll a little bit of the profit into some bullion grade stuff. Now for 2022, they did announce a proof Morgan and a proof uh, peace dollar. I, thought, I think it'd be really cool if they did a reverse proof or an enhanced reverse proof. That would be awesome. Those are not currently available for enrollments. I'm not sure if they'll even go to the enrollment uh, program, but if they do, I would highly recommend getting enrolled and getting the max amount if you are planning on flipping them like myself, just so that way, hopefully you'll be locked in to that household limit and you won't have to fight with the Mint website and hundreds of thousands of other people on release day. Again, not financial advice. I'm just a 26 year old making YouTube videos. What do I know? Uh, bullion grade coins like this. My last purchase was actually on Cyber Monday. I had a couple coupon codes at Atmax and the price, paper price of silver got tamped down pretty good. So I pre-ordered a tube of 2022s, uh, which I try to get one tube a year. So I am all set already on the 2022s, which is nice. So I won't have to worry about that in, in 2022. I do have to get one tube of the uh, one ounce silver maples which is 25 coins instead of the 20 coins that come in the tubes for the U.S. Mint. Uh, so 2022 isn't really going to be an eventful year, I don't think, at this point. Um, 
you know, like I said, the fundamentals are pretty much out the window. Uh, a lot of people use their stimulus as gambling money in the stock market and in the, in the crypto market. The smart people, in my opinion, um, use their stimulus like myself to buy precious metals. Uh, fundamentals are out the window. It, nothing is really making sense right now. So would I like silver to go up? Yes and no. Uh, yes, because it would increase the value of these coins and it would help preserve wealth longer. But if silver's going up and gold's going up, I know the economy is doing worse than it is right now. I think it's kind of a charade right now and we're in a huge bubble. If it goes down, that's honestly more ideal for me, given my age and my risk tolerance. It would allow me to probably purchase some more uh, bullion grade coins during the 2022 year uh, because again money will be tight but who knows who knows what's going to happen in 2022 um, a lot of it i think is uh, fed dependent which kind of sucks relying on the fed the decisions they make and whatnot but i'm hoping 2022 is a good year for the precious metals uh, i know it's not the norm in the precious metal community to hope for a uh, price crash, but with my age, I would love for that to happen. I mean, if it goes down to around 18, maybe 15 bucks an ounce, I could definitely see myself making more uh, purchases. However, I will preface that with the price of silver right now is being tamped down pretty considerably and yet the premiums on these things are through the roof i mean this isn't even one full ounce of silver and i think it was 85 bucks a coin i'm not i don't remember exactly but 85 bucks a coin and you're not even getting a full ounce i mean depending on the premiums you could get three ounces of these for almost the same price maybe it'd probably be around 90 bucks for this actually so you know, you'd be, you're going to be off a couple bucks, but premiums for the proof stuff is insane. That's why I just buy it to flip. Gold, uh, I think it all just kind of depends on when you buy it and what dealer you buy it from. The reason I have this is because I rolled a bunch of my fractional gold into this coin. Uh, for me, it's kind of hard to part with $1,800 or $1,900 all at once. And then the premiums on these, around, I want to say, nine bucks. Um, got a lot of stuff, or got a tube of these on Black Friday uh, using my promo codes and stuff. And I think I got a tube for around $29.50 a coin. So, you know, if you're not using promo codes, you're going to be paying a pretty hefty premium. So, let's just hope that. 2022 is good to all of us stackers. Um, I know it's hard or impossible to please everyone at once. So if you're hoping for the price to get tamped down so you can buy more, I hope that happens for you. If you hope that it goes to the moon, so that way you can cash out and pay off stuff or do whatever you want, uh, I hope that happens for you as well. But let's be honest, we're, we're stackers. We're not, we're not looking at flipping this stuff. We will probably just continue accumulating no matter what. But with that being said, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, give me a like and share. Comment in the uh, comment section below what your goals are or what your hopes are for 2021. Let's have a great year. Please check out all of the affiliate links in the description below as it does help the channel purchase more of this stuff, especially with, uh, you know, my life events in 2022. It would be great to have the ability to purchase more of this stuff and show it on camera. So like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.